Hey everybody, today I want to talk about a little thing called deflection. I had an interview yesterday with an uh, individual that, um, that had some issues with deflection. And really this is something that happens all over the country. This is something that everybody should be aware of and everybody should take notice of. I'll be right back to tell you a little bit more about deflection. All right, so I promised to tell you a little bit more about deflection. Well, here's what deflection is. Deflection is when you begin to blame everybody or every circumstance for your failures. When I'm interviewing candidates across the country, I hear it all the time, you know, well, this happened to me or that happened to me. One of my favorites was, you know, hey, you know, I, I, had, I had a speeding ticket that I forgot to pay and they suspended my driver's license. So I went to go get my driver's license suspended. Uh, reinstated, but COVID happened, so I couldn't get in. Well, how did you get your driver's license? How did you, they know that you were, uh, had a suspended driver's license? Well, I got pulled over. Well, what'd you get pulled over for? Well, I got pulled over for speeding. Okay, well, that's great. So you just told me that you haven't had any tickets. Well, yeah, but they let me off with a warning. Oh, okay. So let me ask you this. What happened at your last place that you were at? Well, you know, I was having trouble uh, getting to work because my car wouldn't start. And, uh, you know, they, they let me go because of that. Oh, really? Was that the first time that ever happened? Well, no, but, you know, they shouldn't have let me go, really. I mean, because it was a, it was a good reason. I mean, I, I couldn't get to work. So, you know, these kinds of things happen all the time. And they can be little microscopic things. Basically, what they are is you're blaming others and other circumstances for your failures. Here's my advice to you guys and everybody in this world, including myself, own it. If you make a mistake, it's okay. You know what? We're not perfect people. We make mistakes. Now, the goal is to be able to identify that mistake and make sure you don't make that same mistake again. When you see repetition of mistakes, 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 one right after the other, and it's always somebody else's fault, well, you probably need to look in a mirror and see who's the person looking back at you. Are you the one making the mistakes? Or are the other people the ones that are causing you to fail? You know, there's only one person that can choose to succeed in life, and that's you. You're the only person that can choose to succeed in life. And excuses will not get you there. Excuses are great. You know, they say that the, the uh, path to destruction is paved with good intentions. Well, to some degree, that's true. I think that good intentions can actually make you move forward if you have good intentions and you move forward on those good intentions and you have a plan to put those things in place to make things better for everybody around you and yourself. However, if your good intentions uh, are always one of those intentions that they always fall short and they never quite get to where they're supposed to go, you never quite get to the end of the race and they always fall short because of one thing or another, one circumstance or one person, then you probably need to look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, what am I doing to cause the failures. Listen, I've always said, and I've said it in other videos, that fail is your first attempt in learning. F-A-I-L stands for first attempt in learning. It does not mean it's the end of the chapter. It's the only end of the, it's only the end of the book if you allow it to be the end of the book. But as long as you have breath in your lungs and you have eyes to see and ears to hear, you can learn and you can fail forward and have success. You know, Thomas Edison failed over a thousand times with the light bulb. And when asked how he kept going after he had failed so many times by a reporter, he said, well, I didn't fail all those times. I actually just learned how not to build a light bulb. <laughs> so that's what you need to keep in mind. Always look to the future and look to your past to see what mistakes you have made and, and really get honest with yourself. Part of our problem in America right now is people don't want to take responsibility for their own thoughts, feelings, and actions. They want other people to comply with their thoughts, feelings, and actions, even if they're wrong. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time that we step up. We start looking at ourselves as Americans, as human beings. Look at yourself. Look inside yourself. See what your end goal is. See and be honest with yourself about who you are and what you want to achieve and stop blaming others and circumstances 
for your shortcomings. See you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.